I'm going to show you how to dye and patina a pair of used dress shoes using tan as the base color with black and dark brown accents topped off with a mahogany marbling effect. I've already completed one shoe to fully show you the difference a job such as this one can make even to a well used pair. As always, the shoe tree makes all the difference. The vintage lasted shoe tree is perfect for really filling in the shoe so the leather can be properly worked on. I found these trees in a thrift shop years ago. They have really served me well throughout my many projects. Before I begin, I need to remove the bourbon factory finish with acetone, or else the dye will not absorb into the leather. Working into the late evening is always a pleasure. The peace and quiet is relaxing after a long day. Buckskin by Feebings is a gorgeous tan color that I love using. The entire shoe needs to be dyed, so make sure to get the whole shoe with even coats. Remember, alcohol-based dyes darken the leather when applied, but only momentarily. Once dried, the shoe will appear uniform. Now it's time for the patina. You'll need three colors for this job, black, dark brown, and mahogany, and diluted dark brown and diluted black. Alcohol-based dyes can be diluted to form a different shade using rubbing alcohol. Mix the rubbing alcohol as needed to produce the right shade. I'm using a 50-50 solution of dye and alcohol. Begin by applying black first near the edge of the eyelets. From here, you want to progressively get lighter from black until you reach the tan of the base. Now that the black has been laid down, I'm going to use diluted black to blend in the line so it's not too hard of a contrast. Dab the dye near the line and use your finger as needed to ease the harshness of the original line with the shading effect. Now onto dark brown. As before, use dark brown and diluted brown to shade the area with your finger in either circular or up and down motions. Take your time as this can take a while. 
Don't go overboard and keep the progression from dark to light constant. This effect will need to be done following the original black line set at the beginning all the way to the back of the shoe. For the marbling effect, use an old sponge to apply the mahogany dye in patches so they look like small spider webs. Let the dye sit for 10 seconds before spraying acetone over the area with a spray bottle. Doing so will leave a beautiful wood-like look. Continue the process as needed and you'll see it appear quite quickly. As long as you shade the proper areas using black and dark brown, the burnishing effect will look natural and artistic. Avoid hard lines. Ideally, you want shading from dark to light. Surprisingly, the marbling effect is easy to achieve. It only looks hard to do. Now, shining a dyed shoe is only slightly trickier than normal. Remember to let the shoe dry overnight. Just make sure to use neutral colored products where available. Use colored creams and waxes for areas that have been patinaed.
for the darker areas by the eyelets, I'm going to be using Hermes Red to add a little bit of color to the browns to finish off that progression from dark to light. Mirror shine as always. Remember to take your time and be patient. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how this pair turned out. I wanted a brown marbling effect or a wooden look inspired by one of my brother's guitars. I think I achieved that look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.